some of you guys might know that I am a dyed in the wool PC guy. I've been using PCs my entire life. I love building PCs, I love specking out the components, I love the upgradability and the expandability. I love the whole aesthetic of like the RGB thing. And in fact, I generally watch as many tech YouTube channels, PC-based YouTube channels, as I do guitar-based YouTube channels. It's my other obsession in life. So when the guys at 3XS Custom PCs here in the UK offered to build me a Tom Quayle signature PC in effect, man, that was like, yes, I have to jump at this chance. So this beautiful looking thing behind me is the result of that. This is my Tom Quayle signature PC from 3XS Custom PCs, who are a wing of scan.co.uk here in the UK. Scan are actually offering a unique discount to any viewers of this channel on any new 3XS audio system. All you need to do to get your discount is email the code TQ22 to scanproaudio at scan.co.uk, and they will sort you out with a great discount on a new audio PC. So, in this video, I want to outline the specs for you, talk about why this is such a game changer for me, and also show you what an incredible job the guys at 3XS have done in specking out, building, and customizing this beautiful looking machine for all of my audio and video work. And of course, maybe a little bit of gaming on the side as well. The machine is powered by the latest Intel Alder Lake 12900K CPU, Overclocked, of course, utilizing the ASUS Prime 690A motherboard. Now this motherboard gives me all the expandability and I.O. that I could ever need, but we've also paired it with a Thunderbolt 3 card from ASUS, and that's gonna be really important, I'll show you why later. And also the latest Wi-Fi 6 AX card, in order that I can utilize my full one gigabit per second connection at home without needing to use ethernet cables. The guys at 3XS have provided 64 gigabytes of DDR5 super high-speed RAM as well. This is gonna enable really high-speed video editing and also ensure that I never run out of RAM no matter how much color correction or effects I'm adding to videos and obviously never run out of RAM if I'm using really high-end virtual instruments. Now, that's also paired with a Samsung 980 Pro 2 terabyte SSD, an NVMe SSD, and that's giving me read and write speeds of around six to seven gigabytes per second which is really insane. It's the fastest drive I've ever come across in a machine. So in terms of the GPU, which is less relevant for audio, but really important for my video work, and of course also for 4K gaming, the guys have gone for the MSI Supreme RTX 3080. Now this is the quietest 3080 on the market, which means that I get all of that raw power for the video editing, of course, and for gaming, but it doesn't sacrifice in terms of audio quality. It has on the BIOS a silent mode as well, which allows me to move into a really quiet mode of operation when I'm doing any audio work if I need to do that. Now, in order to keep all of these high-end components nice and cool, especially when they're under load, the guys have kitted the whole system out with Be Quiet fans. These are some of the lowest noise floor fans on the market. Now this means that they will keep the system quiet even when it's under load, especially in a studio environment, but they don't become obnoxious in terms of noise. And just to demonstrate this, just check out the difference between the system I built about three years ago, which is really high powered, but crazy noisy compared to this system, especially at the boot up phase, you'll hear the noise that these fans make in my old system compared to the noise in this new system. So the absolute flagship element of this build for me has to be the incredible customization work that the 3XS guys have done on this case. They've taken my TQ logo and placed it on the front and side tempered glass panels. And then internally, we've got a bunch of addressable LED strips in there that are matched with a Razer Chroma RGB controller. And that means that the lighting options internally are pretty much unlimited. It's insane what you can do. You can change the color of the TQ logo, you can make the whole system respond to temperature changes, you can make it respond to music or key presses on the keyboard, whatever you want. 
And that might seem a little bit of overkill, but bear in mind that this system has to sit in every single video that I do. And I want the backdrop, I want everything in this room to look as nice as possible so that not only am I inspired when I come into the studio, or the gear looks good, but the lighting is good from a video perspective. There's interest in the background, depth to the background, the PC looks good. I don't just want some kind of aluminium slab in the room that just looks the same as everyone else's setup. I want some kind of level of customization, something unique, and this build fulfills that requirement absolutely amazingly. So now we've checked out the specs, let's check out some raw performance and we'll start with audio here. This system is paired with a Thunderbolt 3 interface. It's the Antelope Audio Orion Studio Synergy Core. This is a fantastic audio interface, but it does require Thunderbolt 3 for the most performance, which of course this system does have. Now paired with this 12900K CPU and the other specs of the system and how quiet it is, I can run a 32 buffer size, for example, using the Thunderbolt connection and have around 1.5 milliseconds of round trip latency, which is just mind blowing. This is a complete game changer for me because I can essentially run all the plugins in my DAW, monitor through the DAW in real time, hardly even taxing the CPU, and listen to all my guitar tones or whatever I'm doing, utilizing these beautiful sounding plugins, whether it's stuff from Arturia that I use, some of the native instrument stuff, maybe some of the, uh, you know, uh, the Neural DSP plugins, for example, and have hardware levels of latency, as if you were hardware monitoring through your audio interface. So I'm gonna show you two game-changing scenarios for me that I've never been able to do with any of my systems before. One is utilizing software monitoring in the DAW with a buffer size of 32, hardly even taxing the CPU, and monitoring through the software plugins using my Arturia plugins, some of the Eventide stuff, you could use the Neural DSP, whatever you guys use, using those plugins as if they were hardware units with that level of latency, if you like. So one to 1.5 milliseconds of round trip latency. There is enough CPU power here to create massive plugin chains and utilize those in real time for tracking, you know, for whatever you need to do. You don't need to use DSP based systems like the Universal Audio stuff anymore to do this with this kind of a system. It's really amazing. Then the other scenario is me loading up 50 instances of Massive X on this CPU with again, a buffer size of 32 for real-time levels of performance and a bunch of effects loaded on every single channel. And again, we don't even hit 50% on the CPU here. It's truly insane what you can achieve with this system paired with a good audio interface. So let's check those out now. All right, so here in Studio One, as I mentioned, this is kind of game-changing for me with this machine combined with the Thunderbolt audio interface. I've got, if I go to the settings or the options here, a buffer size of 32 which has given me a latency of less than 1.5 milliseconds round trip, which is kind of nuts, which means that I can use the plugins, all of these plugins that I've got here, you know, all my plugin collection, as if they were kind of analog real-time hardware, the kind of thing you would be able to do normally with like the universal audio stuff, for instance, but you need a very expensive DSP box. I can do this natively now with this interface and this computer. I want you to keep an eye on the CPU usage here. Okay, so at the moment it's right idling around 8%, 9%, which is just background activity, Studio One running generally. And the fact that I've got OBS screen recording and the uh, my vocal mic here, which I'm monitoring in real time through the DAW, is running through Isotope's denoiser and the presonus limiter. And there's a limiter on the output as well, just to make sure I don't clip. So my guitar here, this is basically a Zilla 2x12 cab that's mic'd up in my ISO booth, if I'm being posh but actually it's just my downstairs, uh, under the stairs cupboard, uh, which is mic'd up with a Royer R121 and an SM57. And that's coming into my Orion Studio Thunderbolt interface, which is running into Studio One. And at the moment, you're not hearing anything. If I turn this on, and I'm monitoring through the DAW with all the effects turned off, and it's just a dry guitar signal through the mics. <laughs> 
Okay, now I've been able to do this with hardware monitoring before, but never with software monitoring with no latency. So now what I can do is start to add some of these plugins, beautiful, amazing sounding plugins from Arturia, Eventide, you know, all sorts of different companies, native instruments, for example, and get awesome sounding stereo full range effects and monitor through them in real time. So I'm going to turn off my vocal mic and let you hear some of this stuff running in real time. And keep an eye on this CPU meter. It never goes above 12%, 13%, which is nuts for doing this with a 32 buffer size. So let's have a listen. <laughs> So I'm in Studio One. Uh, at the moment, what I've got here, you can see my voice is coming through this track here and I'm monitoring in real time with basically no latency at all. I've got um, a voice denoiser on there from Isotope and a limiter on there as well. And then down here, here's the crazy bit. We've got 50 unique instances of Massive X from Native Instruments. Pretty heavy plugin, pretty heavy um, virtual instrument. And every single one of those, if I just scroll across here, has got its own version or inst instantiation of Black Hole from Eventide and their Crystals plugin as well. So there's 50 of those. Now I am running a buffer size of 32 here. And you can see with 50 instantiations of Massive X where the CPU is landing right now, about 31%. So there's loads and loads of headroom available. And because I'm at a buffer size of 32, if I play, fairly insane. So again, we didn't get above 50% CPU usage. We've got three milliseconds of plug-in latency going on here in terms of processing and a less than one millisecond of actual input and output latency. If I just show you in the options here, 32 samples, there's our input and output latency. And then obviously we've got the processing latency of the plugins at three milliseconds. Kind of nuts, the headroom that's going on here. Amazing stuff from this scan machine. So this machine doesn't only excel for audio work, it's also fantastic for video production as well. With the 3080 and the 12900K CPU in there, this system really chews through 4K footage. I use DaVinci Resolve, and if I'm working with multicam 4K footage on a 4K timeline, scrubbing performance is amazing, editing in the timeline is really snappy and quick, adding effects, adding color correction, the system just doesn't slow down, it doesn't get noisy, it doesn't get overly hot, it's really, really amazing. And again, 
Compared to my old system that used to get really loud, it used to get really, really warm, it would slow down if I did too many effects. I'd run out of video RAM, for example, when I was doing noise reduction and color correction and upscaling for 1080p slow motion footage. This system just chews through the whole lot with no issue whatsoever. So it's really, really amazing for my workflow. And I just want to thank 3XS. They built this incredible system and you know, it's really going to make my life so much easier and more productive and more creative. And that's the whole point of a computer. You don't want it to get in the way. You want that performance and you want it to just do the tasks that you throw at it without falling down or complaining at you. And this system fulfills all of those requirements amazingly well. Of course, once you've finished working and you're in your downtime, this system will allow you to do some epic 4K gaming. I'm currently playing through Dying Light 2, Cyberpunk 2077, and my personal favorite, Elden Ring. I've got this hooked up to a 42 inch C2 OLED display. And I've got all the graphical bells and whistles turned on, 60 FPS across the board or even higher, using those RTX features like ray tracing, DLSS, of course. So this machine really performs in those three key areas that I need to perform in incredibly well, whilst again, remaining nice and quiet, running nice and cool, and looking the absolute business the entire time. And I should say, actually, although this video, the guys built this PC for me, I've bought tons of stuff over the years from Scan. My audio interfaces came from Scan, many of them, some camera gear, lenses. I bought a Blackmagic switcher from them, all sorts of stuff over the years. And they've always been fantastic through and through. Quick delivery, great prices, all the usual stuff you would expect, really good customer support. And working with these guys to produce this PC has been nothing but a fantastic, pleasurable experience. So thanks to Scan, thanks to 3XS, thanks to the guys that built this PC and spec'd it out for me. It's wonderful. I can't wait to use it for many, many years to come. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Obviously, again, check out the links below for more information on this system and obviously scan.co.uk and 3XS. Be sure to hit the bell notification icon to make sure that you never miss any more of my videos. And if you want to support me, in more of my work, you can check out the lessons below as well. Click the link and it'll take you up to my website where you can check out all my lessons on legato technique, improvisation, harmony, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's Tom Quayle, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.